Hey you, Stud Doogie here with episode 2, part 2 of my Zombie Army 2 playthrough. Take a look at what I'm doing here in the mouse. I'm highlighting Josea. He has a combo timer increased, uh, a larger grenade capacity, but his stamina takes longer to recharge, so we're compensating with it for it with that stamina, increased stamina recovery speed perk. So, um, I did end up splitting uh, episode two into two separate videos, even though in a previous video I said that I wouldn't. And the reason is I didn't want it to be too long. When after I recorded this and I saw how long it was, um, I decided to just keep them separate. So the reason for uh, Josea in this particular chapter is because one e one of the additional challenges I'm putting on myself for this one is to try to maintain my combo from the beginning of the fight all the way to uh, reaching the safe house. So I'm not going to spoil it for you and tell you whether I'm successful or not. You're going to have to stick around and uh, see what happens for yourself. But to help me accomplish that, I've chosen Jaseya because one of his inherent perks is that he has an increased combo timer. So by combining that with the actual combo timer perk, I'm hoping that I will be able to um, achieve this self-imposed challenge. So um, this is like this the second major or the second chapter in the story and so we're going to get introduced to a new type of enemy later on in the story uh, but for this first part we just need to defend against um, a zombie horde that's going to attack us so i'm setting up some some mines in some places where i know i'm going to need it there's something hilarious about these zombies hanging off the side of that train So here we go. Remember, uh, we the objective for me is to complete each of these subsections with a uh, with a gold ranking. Uh, no death. It's not a no damage run, but it's definitely a no death run. And we'll want to max out the combo meter as much as possible. But this particular one, like from the beginning here all the way to the end, I'm going to try to keep my combo meter going and I'm playing this on um, four player enemy scaling which basically means the game spawns enemies as if they were a four player playing even though I'm playing solo so I'm gonna be trying to be as strategic as possible so I'm waiting for these guys to pile up so I can kill as much of them with that shot as possible Yeah. Oh, I just want to make a brief correction about something I said in my previous video about brutal mode. Brutal mode in my previous video, I said the, the difference between it and the hard mode was that you got you lost the HUD. There was no HUD, but there's more to it than that. It turns out enemies hit even harder in brutal mode and they have even more health in brutal mode um, than they do in hard, even though hard is pretty uh, well, it's not ridiculously challenging, which is why I've cranked up the scaling. So at this point, it becomes pretty easy. You know, you just clear a path, get to the machine gun, and just tap it. You know, you don't have to... If you just tap it, you'll have more than enough ammo to deal with these guys. And I also make an effort not to get uh, the NPCs killed. So I do shoot zombies off of them to try to keep them alive. You don't have to do that. I don't know what happens if they die. Do they rise back up as zombies? Maybe I should do that next time. Let's let him get eaten and see if he comes back and I have to kill him as a zombie. One of the new changes in um, Zombie Army 4 relative to the previous titles is it actually tells you what body part. Like if you shoot at something in the head and, you, and it goes through the eyes, it'll tell you eye shot, which I think is pretty nice touch. Just crashed through the goddamn wall. These ain't no husks neither. 
I'm cutting it close. I'm in the red. Am I going to make it? And that right there is why I chose Josiah. If it wasn't Josiah, I would not have been able to maintain that combo going forward. So because he saw that it was was out of the red and the combo meter had moved from the screen. But he his sort of inherent perk gives us just that split second we needed to keep party going. Yeah, that should have been a headshot. I don't know what's up. I, as I'm watching it back, I'm going to be looking for some of the misses that I thought were hits. And seeing if it really was me who missed. Like, that should have been a headshot, I thought. Or the game is bullshitting me. That's interesting because um, I got the meter recharged after the grenade landed without it before it exploded though. So I don't know what that's about. That should have been a headshot. So I'm bringing out the shotgun here because they're going to be a, some enemies kind of piling up. And I want to try to get some, make some progress on my masterworks by getting triple kill. So triple kill is basically when one slug penetrates um, three enemies and kills them so it's not you know three shots back to back it's a single shot that kills three enemies which is why again I've chosen the slug modifier or the slug upgrade mod versus the increased damage on the shotgun The other challenge of getting a triple is that they, you see like they're not all the same height. Oh, you know what I mean? I thought I got rid of that dude. Asshole. See, this looks like a good opportunity. That would have been a good opportunity to do some triples, but I didn't think it at the time. But there are going to be a lot more opportunities um, to get triples. So we can pace ourselves a little bit. So I'm trying to get the blood seal thing to spawn, to spark up. This way I'll have more enemies on the map to keep my combo going. Running back to get ammo. I'm just gonna tap somebody, reset my meter. I'm body. I meant to just body shot him. I didn't want him to die, but screw it. He died. It's all good. I should have switched to the shotgun here. This would have been a good opportunity. I don't know how all those shots missed. That's bullshit. But this would have been a good opportunity. I want a 200 now. Good opportunity to do some triple shots. Like, what the hell? That's... Okay, that one I saw miss. Because he struggled. He stumbled back. And I didn't properly account for it. So once again, I'm going to run ahead a little bit. Try to trigger more enemies to spawn. And then turn around and tap these guys. Uh, with body shots to keep my combo meter going. Tap him again. That should get a lot of kills. Will I do it? That was a fucked up throw. <laughs> It's embarrassing. Shit happens. I'm a shooter, not a thrower, all right? Don't judge me. Don't you dare judge me. He climbed over that thing like he was an old man. Come on, Josiah. 
You got to represent better than that, homie. Come on, that's a headshot. Come on. Thank you. All right. We're going to tap this dude. And leave him so that we have something to tap. Keep our combo going. But he's taking his own sweet time, so I'm going to do this instead. Thank you, birdie. Again, I just wanted to get the body shot, get things rolling. So once I go through that door, there's going to be a shit ton of enemies. And if I make it through all that without any misses, you know, I'll achieve the objective. So again, I left this dude so I could tap him, but he wasn't there taking his own sweet time. He's going to be trying to be slick and try to come up behind me, but I'm aware of it. Throw some more grenades. I don't know how all that missed. Call bullshit on the play coach. I really haven't been doing as good a job as I could to um, master work my shotgun. I've been focused on the sniper. I am a sniper main after all, so N now he finally shows his happy ass up. No, that wasn't him. This this dude. But he's right where we need him to be so we can tap him and get our combo meter going if we didn't freaking miss. Oh, come on. Bullshit. So the reason I'm shooting them with the shotgun right now is because I don't want them coming back. You know, once they've been dismembered, there is no coming back from that. And I want to be able to move forward without worrying about things uh, rising from the dead behind me. I could have gotten a triple shot there with my shotgun if I was ready, but I didn't think about it. Things seem so obvious in retrospect. All right, 311. Doing pretty good with it. Bruno, I hate to say it, but I don't think we're going to find any survivors. Damn it. Just keep it. <laughs> I love how that thing has a uh, shoot me right on it. Body shot, of course. Keep it moving. Three eighteen. Can I make it? So I'm running ahead, so I can tap these guys. Keep my meter going. Rest in pieces, bitch. Three twenty four. He shouldn't be dead. I should be getting another tap off of him. Here he comes. Okay, we're going to try to tr trigger, run up ahead to trigger this scene right here. This way we can get it going. So this is the introduction of the suicide um, zombie. Dude blew up my damn mine. That's not supposed to be for suiciders. That's supposed to catch a bunch of you guys at the same time. 333. I should have refilled my ammo right there. 
I'm gonna pay for that later, as you will see. But does that mean that my combo meter is going to drop? Am I gonna lose my combo? <laughs> you have to wait and see. I'm not getting any. Oh, that was a double. Because I'm looking at the combo meter and seeing with each shot, am I getting just a bump up in one or multiple? All right, shit's about to get real. Because I have one round left, but I don't realize it. Oh, shit. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to bait him and then have him blow up by me being close but running away. There he goes. Okay. This would have been a good opportunity to get some chipples if I had some freaking ammo, but I didn't. 381. 384. Am I going to make it, y'all? It looks like I should, right? I mean, there's just nothing but enemies. I've got a good amount of ammo. There's an ammo crate right there if I can lure them away, which I did. Reload. Let's see if we can get some non and pop in here. Get some triples. Now, I'm not getting any triples with this, man. Get him nice and bunched up. Try to get him come through this narrow corridor. 402. Four oh three. What? The, you see, that was bullshit right there. I just got robbed. I got jipped because you saw me shoot that guy, but it didn't count. I had three left. Uh, but you know, all in all, it was still pretty good. It's not the max combo. The max you can get is six six six, and there was no way. There was just simply not enough enemies here to get six six six. So. Um, the number that I hit was pretty darn good. I'm not I'm not mad at that, to be honest. It just felt like a jip. Like, if I would legit missed, then yeah, but it felt like a jip. All right, so that's the end um, of this subchapter. So we'll, we'll watch the score, and I'm going to cut it off here. But thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.